All right, thanks, Hillary, and hope you like the heat because it looks like we'll go back to near triple digit temps this week. Let's send it out to Fox 16 meteorologist Natalie Walters, who's live outside the state capitol. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, you may be wondering why I'm outside right now. I'm actually preparing myself for the ice bucket challenge that's coming up towards the end of the newscast. Actually, Hillary Hunt, who you just heard, challenged me last night at the Arkansas Travelers game. So I'm going to be doing that shortly, all for a great cause to raise awareness for ALS. So we'll be talking about that shortly. But for that forecast, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sticky out there, feeling really muggy out here right now. So I'm actually kind of getting myself prepared for that ice water uh, to be on top of me right now. Uh, but we are be looking at those temperatures in the 90s as we check into tomorrow. We'll be in those lower 90s, 92 for that afternoon high temperature. Some areas could get a little bit warmer than others, depending on the sunshine and, and also so some cooler spots due to the rain expected scattered showers and thunderstorms. A pop up severe storm can't be ruled out either, kind of like what we saw today with some areas of heavy rain, too. So that's what we will be looking at as we check into tomorrow afternoon. After that, though, we will be looking at some much calmer conditions towards the middle of next week as a cold front will slide its way through. So we have a great looking seven day forecast to look forward to as well. But we do have to get through the chance for showers and thunderstorms over these next couple of days. So again, coming up here uh, in just a short while. I'm going to be doing that ice bucket challenge as I'm sitting here waiting. I'm getting a little bit more nervous, so so we'll see how this happens coming up here in just a bit. I'll send it back to you, Melissa. Yeah, I expect a chance of showers with some ice on Natalie here in a few moments.